Hi everybody! It's Friday and I have several journals to share. Actually, two, uh, two journals and an envelope stack. And this, let's start with this one. It measures, it's a big one. It measures 10 by 5. And the cover, I used a canvas fabric and then I inked it and I stained it and uh, to make it look really, really grungy and dirty. And um, I put this image of this pretty lady. And this is part of a crocheted uh, placemat. My mind went blank. And I put some pretty inked up flowers, little lace flowers, and then a little bow um, with a little brad in the center there. And the strap is in the same fabric. And I left all the strings... Um, on on the cover and this, so it, I mean, it just makes it look old. And then going inside, like I said, this is a chunky one. Um, I keep this here so I can figure out my placement. I want to make sure I'm still in frame. Looky there, I am. Okay. Over here, I put a doily on this pocket and a seam binding bow, um, flower, excuse me. And it's a double pocket, and up here I put a safety pin with some different charms and beads, and put these two cards in there. And this one, and then back here is your writing board. And that's used to write in areas, like this was a good example here. You can put it behind, you can write here, and then this doesn't affect your writing. So, I've been adding those to the journals lately. And over here is a tuck spot with a pretty lady made out of a book page and part of a doily and then some uh, seam binding that I've dyed and inked and a little flower that I used these, I think, throughout so that it would kind of coordinate together. A little seam binding bow up there on this card. <laughs> And then a pretty image in the background. And Sammy Joe says, hello, everybody. Now, they're barking today that they're picking up the the trash. So, sorry. Brace yourself. They're going to bark. Um, back here, I, this is all stuff that I, I had left over or had on my desk. And I put it all together. And, I mean, it's got a lot of stuff in it. And I've done several journals uh, this way. And I'm not clearing off my desk. It's, like, endless. So... <laughs> We'll just see what else I can come up with. I got a pocket here made out of a nice linen, part of a crochet doily, a ribbon flower with a brad, and this real pretty, um, and it's attached down. It's not a, like a tuck spot or anything. Um, but this is a pocket, and I put a couple of cards in here. Rolodex card, and then a smaller card. Over here is a pocket it's a double pocket actually it's got this pretty lady with that flower again and in this pocket i put in um a little card here and then a little mini writing card okay get in there there we go and then this pocket has got a card uh, made out of a book page and this paper clip holds this down and holds this down, holds it in place. It's a little booklet here, made from a uh, 1927 um, newspaper with the different coffee dyed papers inside. Okay, let's put you back. This would hold it in place, hold it down because of the card. However, I didn't want this to open. So I added the, the paper clip. And this has got a little tag here for writing. Um, and this lifts up. And it's got writing space here. A um, couple. There we go. A couple of just random sheets. And then this, her the bottom, it's cut in half. It's two, it's two notebooks. And then you have a tuck space behind it if you wanted to put anything. I didn't put anything. The book's getting kind of huge for me to use some of my big stuff but you may want to keep a memento or something pretty okay 
Get on there. Let's do it. There we go. Okay. Over here is a, a grungy tag, and I just sewed on some different fabrics and some seam binding up there. And it's got a card. And I stitched it in a off-white. I wanted the stitching to be there, but I didn't want it to um, overpower because there's so much going on. Over here is a pocket that I missed. Imagine that. And another pocket down here uh, with different fabrics in the flower. And a pretty harp. And two cards for writing. Another pocket over here. Uh, different, fa Just a bunch of different fabrics and a little lace flower here and the seam binding. And I put a big piece of lace running down the edge here and then another piece of lace on top of it. And that's a nice large card. And then this is part of a postcard that I got in a state sale and I just put the back on it in coffee dyed paper for additional writing. <coughs> Excuse me. Over here's a collage. Uh, you can see the laces from the other side. You've got some lined paper here. A little strip of a lady walking on the beach. Image there. I outlined uh, this piece of coffee dyed paper for uh, writing. Over here are some additional sheets of paper for journaling. With a pretty image. And I just left this here for pretty. I thought she was just beautiful. I didn't want to cover her up. And then some more papers for writing. It's got some cheesecloth here, part of a book page, and an image. Morrison's Cafeteria. I remember that growing up. And then a little pretty image here. Nice page for writing here and here. And on this side, yeah, that's right. On this side is an image here. And then some extra pages for writing. Part of a book page. This is, um, I, I like these kind of pages in books because you get a little something and then um, plenty of space to write. And then a pretty perfume bottle there. On this side, this keep this paper clip keeps uh, this from opening up. It's got a little card for extra writing and this opens up and it's a booklet with some extra pages here. And let's put that back together. And you go in front and you go behind. It's another card. Another page just for pretty. Got a collage going over here. Two kids sitting on a uh, fence. Some lined paper here. Nice image. A little place for jotting down something. And the lace on the edge. And then we have a couple of cards here. I just This is a piece of old newspaper and I just stuck it in there. I just thought it'd be neat. Something to keep. And two little mini cards. And then extra lined paper over here with the butterfly. And then on this side, I put the paper clip here because, well, I might as well take you back out. Because this is an envelope, but it opens up for journaling. And look at there, that's two, two for two. Forgot to put a card back there. And I just got done making a whole bunch of, um, cards. been doing that every night so I could kind of rebuild my stash a little bit. So I'll stick some of the pretty new ones in there. Back on you go. Anyway, that's neat and I'll put something, like I said, back there and it's got some stitching running down the edge there. Over here, this paper clip is to keep this in place. And it holds a bunch of cards over here, so I'm going to take that off, and then I'm going to remove that. And this lifts up. It's got um, a little lace bow there, and this lifts up, and this lifts out. And this goes this way. So it goes this way, this way, 
and there you go. Another book page with the neat writing areas, little receipt, image here um, with some gray striped paper. Lots of extra writing. I love pages like this because I'll write something here and then I'll come back and go all the way down. Maybe do it in two different pen colors. I'm a pen freak too. I probably buy every one of those, you know, 120 pens they have at Sam's or Costco. And then a piece of crackled paper back there. And then over here is a real pretty image from a book. All right, I want to gather these together and gather you together. Because over here I put... Um, some extra writing cards. And like I said, this is made of whatever I had on my desk. So I used a part of that page somewhere. And I had this left over and it was lined paper. And I thought it was pretty. So I kept it and I love this. It looks like this little girl, she's got a little suitcase with her. And it's like she's asking the conductor, where's this train going? Such a cute picture. So cute, cute, cute. Okay, so I want to fix you back. Okay, you stay right there. Mm hmm I think I had the paper clip the other way. There we go. And fold that back and stick you under. Over here is a Rolodex card pocket with some fabric behind it and then a little bit of, of lace here. A real pretty image. And then a card for journaling there. And I just love those two birds. I made it out of a book page. Got some lined paper on the back. And what do we have here? We have uh, some cheesecloth with a pretty image. A little place for writing. And then this all lifts up with extra, extra paper. And then I put a little ribbon strip here. Because I like, I like ribbon that you can see through. Things you can see-through so there you have it did i have a paper clip in my hand i don't know um and then a extra card for journaling with a hotel logo okay over here i put a big pet part of a crochet doily and this has got some long threads of threads strands of fabric and then i put a little charm at the end of them, a little dragonfly with a safety pin and a little disc with a safety pin and then this is uh, a pocket here with parts of a crochet doily, different uh, fabrics, lace and cheesecloth, little birdie. And you could write something there. And two cards. Get in there. Get in there. And then... On this side, this doily sticks out, so it shows on this side, too. And over here, I put a card behind, just all inked up. And then this comes off, because it's a paper clip. First, we'll take you out. And then I put a, um, a prescription. And, of course, it, you write on the back of it. And then this opens up, and it's a little booklet, and it with a tuck spot behind it. And back on you go. And you go back on. And then a little silk flower. On you go. And then this fits behind. I've got a whole bunch of different fabrics, some twine and sparklies and linen it just fits right back there and the back is the same as the front it's a, it's a double pocket with the crochet doily and the seam binding flower with the uh, safety pin with the different charms and fabrics this is what the fabric of this looked like before I did all the staining and then in here I've got a little Tim Holtz clip So that you can write it's a little booklet just with coffee dyed papers it's made on out of book pages and then I added um, a bunch of little cards that I had left over little po 
postcard there. And the Tim Holtz goes right back on. Get on there. My fumbly fingers. One moment, please. Really? Sometimes things, when they're real little, they just get my hands. Seriously? I got it on there before. Oh, maybe I did it the other way. Let's see. Get on there. There. Okay. I'm happy now. And then in this big pocket, it's a nice deep pocket. You can see it goes all the way to here. And I put a paper bag booklet in it, and it's got a collage on the front. Um, different size coffee papers. It's nice and thick. Piece of a dictionary page. Um, it's a nice good size booklet. And then you have an opening here to stash stuff if you want to. And it's a nice good size booklet in deep pockets. And I mean, I can get my whole hand in there. So you can definitely stuff stuff down in there that you want to keep. And let me slide you back over. And there's the back all grunged up and inked up. And uh, I use several different kinds of ink. I use coffee. Um, just all kinds of, of grunginess on the cover. But like I said, it's a chunky monkey. I want to thank y'all so much for being here with me for this video. And I'll be right back with the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.